So today I had orientation and that was really good and I met lots of people. Um, we went on a like little scavenger treasure hunt type thing around the city um, just to explore and see a little bit more of Milan. Um, I've mainly met Americans. I have met someone from Thailand and some people from Mexico, um, someone from Taiwan. Um, surprisingly, in person, I haven't actually met any other Aussies um, so far. I know they do exist. People keep telling me that they meet them. Um, I've been home for about 45 minutes now um, in my aircon, relaxing and recharging before we're now going out tonight. Um, the international students group on campus, we all signed up and now we're going out tonight. Um, also, they've organised a trip for us to Cinque Terre on Sunday, so that'll be fun to go a bit exploring all of that. Um, yeah, and I've just been chilling in my apartment. Um, really glad that I picked uh, this apartment. I'm sorry, hand, sorry. Really glad that I picked this apartment because some other people have been having a little bit of trouble with their apartments and all that. Um, or even simple stuff like they have no aircon, so it's absolutely boiling in their apartments. Um, I have invited them to come back to mine if they need aircon because it was, what, 30 degrees today and they're all dying because they only have small fans that don't really work. So a couple of the Americans that I've met said that they'll probably come visit um, tomorrow or on Saturday. Um, and also the area that I'm in has a lot of, like, Bars and pubs and stuff, well not really pubs, not really pubs, but bars and all of that. So um, they're going to come down to Navigli and look at all of that. But yeah, um, that's kind of it. Um, I'm going to go get changed soon and get ready for tonight. Um, you can see behind me, I think my photo wall and some of my apartment, but I will show you my apartment later. Though this going up, I still need to get up all my other videos, um, which will be up before this one, obviously. But yeah, so that's this afternoon. Oh, and also, sorry, my arms are so weak. I need to swap again. Um, also, I went and got more passport photos because I didn't bring any with me because who just brings passport photos with them? Um, and I need them for my resident visa, but luckily they had some of the like take your own photos So I've got these Lovely photos um, That is now going to go on my Not my student card. That's a terrible photo though um, That's a better photo. I wish that was going on my student card, but on my international social club card, I guess you call it and um on my residence permit. But yeah, I think that's all from me um, before I go. I'm relaxing for another like 13 minutes or something before I start getting ready. Then I'm going out to dinner with my nan and my pa and then I'm going out tonight. So that'll be fun. And yeah, that's all from me. Bye. So, um, ugh. Sorry, super tired, um, and you get to see me doing my hair because it's all fluffy because I've just come in from outside from uni, um, and it's a casual um, 31 degrees, so a little bit hot. I've just turned the aircon on so I don't die. Uh, today was the second day of orientation. I'm actually thrilled by me doing my hair. Uh, today was the second day of orientation. It wasn't quite as exciting as the first because A... It was all about classes and B, and then had to fill in a bunch of forms for a residency permit. Now, to give you an idea of how long those forms took, I we started filling in the forms at two altogether. I think we finished filling in the forms at three. We then had to go and photocopy a whole bunch of documents because I had photocopies in colour, but they had to be in black and white, supposedly according to Italian authorities, so I don't know. So when I did that, then one of the girls, oh, the girls had to buy their Marco de Bolas, which is the revenue stamp that we stick on our residency permit. And then uh, we had to wait in line at the post office for like ever. And 
that finished at around when finally the three of us got all of our documents in and all of that, it finished at around 10 to 5. So that was practically three hours just filling in forms and getting everything organised. It's now all organised, um, which is great, except um, the girls got an earlier interview than me, but you have to go to the police station for an interview. My interview is at the end of November, and then it takes about a month to get your actual residency permit. Um, so I will not have a residency permit probably until I actually leave Italy. So I mean there's always that, so that's fun. Um, good organisation, yay! Um, but it's now uh, quarter to six. Um, I got in at about 5.30, I put the aircon on, all of that. But the reason I took a little bit longer rather than just going straight home was because I went shopping. And the reason I went shopping is so I had school supplies because I start language courses on Monday. It's currently Friday, um, to give you context. And so, I'm going to show you what I bought. Flying Tiger from Copenhagen, supposedly. But I bought... And this may be boring to some people, but I like stationery, so I bought yeah. I bought nail clippers, which are boring, but um, I can't take them on a plane with me, so yay, normal life stuff. I bought where is everything that I bought? Bottom of my bag. Sorry, guys. I bought black pens for writing, coloured pens for headings because I like pretty stuff. I bought highlighters so that I can know everything that I do. Pens. And I bought five subject notebooks, which I'm mainly going to use for IR subjects. I think I bought a separate subject. Oh, and my and my cooking unit. My cooking unit. I bought a separate uh, notepad for all of my Italian language. There's nothing in there yet, but hopefully it will be full and I will be fluent in Italian. Yeah, not gonna happen, but you know, I can wish. I bought a pencil case to put everything in because, funnily enough, they're very helpful. I bought another thing. I bought page markers. Anyone who knows me well knows that these are my favourite thing in the world, which is super duper lame, but that's me. Um, and all of that, oh, I paid for the bag because um, there's a bag tax in Italy. And all of that only came to 13 euro 20. Like, that's insane. Um, and they also had some other stuff that I was looking into getting, um, but I didn't want to uh, spend that much money um, and I just knew I needed those things but they have um, possibly a little extra clothes dryer that I might get and if I go back I'm going to look for, not that I need it because it's super hot hence the aircon um, which I've mentioned every five seconds but um, I don't think you understand that in Italian universities at least in mine they don't have aircon so we've just been sitting in like 30 degree heat all day. Um, absolutely nothing to cool us down so aircon I'm like loving it um, my friends all of them don't have aircon in their apartment and I think my apartment's about to be the place to be not because anyone likes me only because I have aircon um, no I hope they like me anyway um, but just like I'm gonna get like a throw cushion um, not a cushion I might get a cushion but a throw rug or something just to make this place a little bit more my own rather than just um, like I'm staying in someone else's house. I mean, I already did my photo wall, which you can see behind me. Um, I still haven't shown you guys the place, but I will tie it. Well, it's practically tidy. It's just a little bit messy, but I want it to be perfect before I show it to you. And then, oh, and you can see my bag on the bed. And um, that's new as well. I bought that when I went to Strega with my nan and my pa. So that's all from me today, I think. Um, I don't think I have anything else to show you. Uh, um, so that's it.
Now we're on Asola Bella, um, beautiful island, I think it translates, I don't know. Um, you can see all 